Today we look at Job chapter 38. All through the book of Job, we've, we've seen Job, he's, he's lost his family, he's lost his home, he's lost his fortune, and, and his, even his physical body is just racked by a disease. All his friends show up and they begin to tell Job that it's because he's, he's sinned, he's done something wrong, and, and Job, why don't you just confess it? And Job kind of holds his place. And now that we reach chapter 38, and Job has been questioning God, he's been asking God for a counselor, a mediator, he, he, he wants to get to the bottom of uh, kind of this ancient old question of why, why do righteous people suffer? God, why am I going through this? And that, that whole question that sort of resounds throughout scripture over and over again, doesn't God care? So in chapter 38, God finally shows up to respond to Job. And listen to the verses. Then the Lord answered Job. So Job's finally getting his answer. He came in a whirlwind. And, and you see this many times in scripture. It kind of describes God's power, his authority, his unpredictable nature sometimes. And he, and he, and he says, who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Now gird up your loins like a man, Job, and I will ask you, and you instruct me. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth, Job? Tell me, if you have understanding. Who set its measurements since you know everything? Or who stretched the line on it? Or, or what were its bases sunk? Or laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. See, basically what God is saying is, Job, my ways are not your ways. My ways are higher, my thoughts are higher. And as you make your way through chapter 38, where God finally shows up and speaks to Job, what he basically has to say to him is, Job, because I'm God Almighty, you, you've got to trust my wisdom, my ways, my thoughts, my love. And sometimes we find ourselves like Job, you know, wanting to sort of tell God how to do things and think that we know what he should do and how he should do it. And basically in chapter 38, we find out that God is God and he laid the foundations of the earth. He created all things. And who are we to question his sovereignty, his love, his justice, and his mercy? God didn't really cause Job's problems. He allowed them, but God has a wonderful plan. And I think Job 38 reminds us again who we are and who God is. And there's a vast difference between the two. And so Job is left with this encounter with God and realizing that he is not God. And who is he to question the Almighty?